All right, this will be a daily video update for uh, March the 6th. Uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, the S&P 500. And uh, today was an interesting day, really, because just when it looked like things were going to panic and everything drop dropping you know, through these zones, uh, SPX actually made a higher low over here, okay? And basically put in a hammer candle. So nice reversal off the bottom, off the lower Bollinger Band. Uh, so what's next, right? My guess in theory is that they are probably going to try to turn this thing upwards, okay? And maybe come back and tag the 61.8 retracement right up here. And then after that, the bottom falls out, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised come Monday if we get some sort of, you know, either... Uh, slightly lower open and then maybe rocket higher uh, or it could just totally gap up but I'm expecting this to go higher and come up in this area and then fail okay and then we drop and then the bottom drops out so that's at least my theory I'm looking at the you know the squeeze indicator still way short right everybody's short everybody and their mother is short uh, grandma grandpa etc but is that really the time you want to be short? No, I think you want to be short probably right up in here. That's just my opinion. Um, I'll leave it at that. So that is the S&P 500. Let's go over to Bitcoin, and I'm going to change my uh, pointer focus back to uh, black so you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, and this one is interesting as well. Okay, and here's the pointer focus. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. And basically, here's where Bitcoin is stopping at, okay? Nice move above the 10 EMA, uh, got the retrace back and held, came back up and got above the 50 EMA and held it. Now it's right at the 20 EMA, okay? I'm looking at this flattish kind of stochastic RSI, and it makes me wonder how strong this really is. Um, and I'm paying attention also to the 38.2 retracement, which is sitting right at 9,200. So big area right here to get through for uh, Bitcoin. If it can, okay, and you're looking at over here at this little low right here, and that's sitting around 9,280. I, I, I just think this area right in here is the key area to get past, okay? If it does, then we're going to see a big pop probably 9,500, and then uh, even after that, probably 9,700. So, but if it fails right here, it's going to come right screaming back down to the trend line and for another test. So that's going to be the question. We still have this nice reversal pattern, which I talked about. Uh, that's still in play. Okay, that, that actually could be the bottom. But we don't know that for sure, right? Um, I would like to be able to tell you that's the exact bottom. Um, I'm expecting it to go higher. But we have to always look at other scenarios that might play out. Could you get a dip and then buy back? Sure, nothing goes straight up. Okay, so let's be on the lookout for this and watch and see uh, how it plays out. But I'm, I'm expecting it to go a little higher. Uh, let's go over to uh, Ethereum. And again, uh, this one here is uh, basically, it's above the 10 the 20, which is a good sign. Held the 50 EMA. And uh, basically, we're testing the 50% retracement of this entire move. So I would expect probably... Uh, on Ethereum 259, that's kind of my, my expectations. Doesn't mean it can't pull back to the 10 EMA before it does it, uh, and that would be around 236. So any kind of dip, and if it holds this area, then look for higher prices, right? Um, let's go over to Litecoin. Uh, this one has failed to get above the 10 and the 20. Um, it's, it's still holding the 200 and the 233 day moving average. But again, I'm just, I'm a little concerned about this flattish kind of stochastic RSI. That may, that makes me wonder, uh, keeps my guard up. Uh, so let's be careful. You know, you want to get past these, hold them and then go higher. Okay. 
Uh, so that's LTC. Let's go over to Link. Uh, one of my favorites, actually. Um, and for the record, I do have a position. Um, but that doesn't mean it can't go lower, right? We're, and I talked about this. There's this little overthrow right here where it had the top over here, but then came up and got above barely. And then it's starting to pull back. So the key for link is going to be to hold the 10 and the 20, okay? Still could pull back to about 440 or possibly even 420 uh, before holding that area and maybe making an advance higher, okay? There's a Fib cluster up here around 6. I'm not calling that, um, but that's like longer term stuff. Uh, so l let's just keep an eye on that and see how it plays out. XTZ. Uh, doing a nice job of holding the 10 and the 20. As long as things are above this, it's bullish. So buy the dip, play it out that way, right? We're in a choppy kind of mode with the stock or the uh, Bollinger Bands, but they're not so tight that it can't range, right? The thing is, you don't want it to range down here because then your 10 and your 20 break and you're going towards lower prices, possibly even back to uh, under uh, $2. Uh, but as long as it's above the 10, the 20, still good stuff, still bullish. Um, so anyway, that's what I got on XTZ. Let's go over to XRP. And wow, I mean, um, I just get above the 200, the 233. Um, right now, this is just, it looks bearish. I mean, nice reversal pattern here, but, you know, and holding, <clears throat> excuse me, holding the 10 EMA. Um, I guess, you know, get above 25, 26 cents, and then you might get some, you know, some bigger moves to the upside. Until then, it's just kind of flat to choppy, uh, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, DGB. Um, yeah, we're still in our position. Okay. Haven't been stopped out. Um the 50 EMA, I think, is pretty obvious that that's going to be key resistance. Uh, get above this, and you can see where it hit one, two, three times. That's going to be your key area. Get above 72, and you come up and test the trend line of this you know, falling wedge, and then eventually progress higher. But uh, until some sort of news comes out or some new project, uh, this one looks, it's just a long-term hold. So... Uh, nothing horrible, but, you know, needs something to happen. Uh, so anyway, that's pretty much what I've got for tonight. Um, you guys have a good one. I'm going to, I'll try to be back around tomorrow, uh, but it's the weekend and I got plenty of golf coming up. So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I'll try to do an update tomorrow night. Uh, we'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Thanks.